So, how we doing? Well, pretty well, mate. Our first mum's given us some great dishes, and our pan haggerty, well, it's gonna rock the recipe fair. And I reckon our next mum's international twist on a simple supper classic is going to be pretty special too. Oh, yes. We've been tempted to Birkenhead by Jenny and her Portuguese version of fish and chips. Yeah, that's all very well, but she doesn't sound very Portuguese. Hiya. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you all? Nice. Hello, you. I'm Hiya. sorry, hi. Jenny and her husband, Mindo, are here with their kids, Colt, Sage and Jed, who's also brought his girlfriend along for some supper. Now, Jenny, you've got a really interesting family, haven't you? I have, yes. Um, I'm married to a Portuguese. We've been together 22 years. His name's Mindo. Well, his real name is Armindo Alexandre de Guerreiro Candeias Maini. I know, that takes... <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I bet pages. he had a huge duffel bag at school, <laughs> didn't he? Get his name on. <laughs> uh, he's not here to, at the moment, he's working, he's a bus driver, but he will be here later. So, was it your mother-in-law that taught you how to cook? Yeah, she did. She's taught me all the Portuguese dishes that I know. Is there anything that you absolutely love that only your mum knows best how to make? Oh yeah, the snails. Dad snails, makes them. Snails, yeah. Snails? Yeah. Snails. Yeah. We actually yeah, like rooting for them in the back garden. You have to put them in a box. Then you have to let them sort of starve for three days, get rid of all the toxins Urgent. and that. He eats them and I just watch. <laughs> <laughs> Lead on. Okay. Snails, crumbs. <laughs> Thankfully, Jenny is not doing them today. But I don't like the look of that much either. He bacalao. I'm not sure, you know. I've had bad experiences with bacalao. Have you? Yeah. This is. Sent over all the way from Portugal. It's proper stuff. Yep. Bacalao is cod that's been preserved in salt. But the process gives it a distinct salty, fishy flavour, which even when it's been soaked overnight, it's something of an acquired taste. It's one that I've never managed to acquire, but Jenny's promised us that she's converted many people with her fish and chips. It's one of the ways to get you know kids to eat fish as well. I think there's not many kids on our estates that would eat fish. It's bacalao. Yeah, back along. Undeterred by our scepticism, Jenny gets us chopping to start her Portuguese fish and chips supper. Bacalao al brass, just as her mother in law made it. The chips, these are cut very, very thin like matchsticks. There is something wonderfully elemental, isn't there, about onions and garlic frying and olive oil. Oh, the yeah. smell. It's the building blocks of so many dishes, isn't it? Yeah. I'll just leave that there for a minute just to drain. Yeah, just leave, that leave the lid off, yeah, yeah. so it don't stay. And then we add the bacalhau. You just flake it into the pan, so it'll soak up all the, the olive oil and the, the juices of the, the onions and the garlic. Oh. The bacalhau is very traditionally in, uh, Portuguese, but you can use any sort of white fish for this. Yeah. So if you can't get salted cod, use like haddock, pollock or hake as well. So, Portuguese cod with chips on the side, or so we think. In fact, I might need some more chips, actually. How many Put chips eaten? in? So What's going on? Fish and chips in the water. You mix it all together. Oh! Never seen it before, though, have you? No, so it's onions, garlic, oil, fish, chips. Then we bind it all together with a couple of eggs, and then you top it off with uh, fresh parsley. Hiya! Hey, hello! Hiya! Uh, Dave, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Jenny's husband, Mindo, is back from his bus driving shift. Oh, welcome, well, you all come. Are you relieved that um, Jenny's taken such a liking to Portuguese cooking? Yeah, I do, because it means I don't have to cook all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that smells amazing. It does smell good. And that's done. Obviously, you say it sticks to the bottom, so it looks like it's all burny on the bottom. But oh, about the, the best bits, the aren't they? The best bits, yeah. OK, so I've just put this on the table. Yes. Hey! Hey! hey. Yes. Yes. And now the good bit. We can finally start tasting Jenny's simple supper dishes. Oh, yes. The first of which is her fish and chips served with a simple tomato and onion salad and some fresh bread. There you go. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's great. It is. Fish, chips, eggs. All, All into one. All into one. It's wonderful. It's so tasty. Mm -hmm. The bacalao's so sweet. Great dish for supper, isn't it? It is. Brilliant supper dish. It's wonderful with the um, with the onion and tomato salad as well. Yeah, mm. that's really nice. Yeah, it's really like good. the refresh, yeah. like a refreshing taste. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Can honestly say, Jenny, you've changed my attitude to bacalao. Yes, I really enjoyed that. Thank Brilliant. you. Delicious. With that triumph under her belt, it's time for Jenny's second Portuguese take on a British supper classic. It's a Portuguese rice pudding. This is cold. This is the traditional way they eat it in Portugal. Another thing that's unusual is that it's made with long grain rice. Yeah. 
and if you don't get the liquids right, then you'll end up with a, like a big crunchy... What's the fruit flavour in it? I can't... Lemon. Lemon. Lemon, yeah. mm. Lemon and cinnamon. I didn't think you, I could get my head round a rice pudding made with long grain rice. But it's fabulous. It, is, it works really well. It's different texture, isn't it? It's much more, more solid. Mm. I love the fact that Jenny's really taken the food of Mindo's family to her heart. Mindo, not all the gang. Could we possibly borrow your mother? Oh, yeah. Can I have her? <laughs> <laughs> no, just for a lender. We've got this recipe for it, and uh, we think your mum would be brilliant in it. You can borrow if you like. Yeah, are you on, Jenny? I'm on. Brill. <laughs> What Jenny has shown us is that simple suppers don't have to be familiar to be great. You're right. The Portuguese influencers give a totally new perspective on some classic supper favourites. And, without a doubt, the one that I want Jenny to cook at our banquet is that fantastic bacalao al brás. Do you know what, dude? What, mate? That long grain rice pudding that Jenny made has really got me thinking. Yes, because until the 1960s, nearly all the rice we knew in Britain was short grain, what we now call pudding rice. But then, as we started eating more Chinese and Indian food, we were introduced to long grain rice. The big finale to the recipe fair will be a supper banquet for local foodies, and the three mums that we found on our travels will be doing the cooking. Welcome to your world. Look at this. This is going to be your workspace for the next, ooh, well, day. Now, girls, the food that we ate in all of your homes was just brilliant. It's going to be quite an eclectic supper, though, I think. <laughs> it's meat and potatoes, salt, cod, curry. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so, are you looking forward to it? How are you feeling about it? I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward yeah. to seeing all the different recipes and, and trying all the different yeah. things as well yeah. and really having a good laugh, basically. Yeah. Well, I've never had Portuguese food, so I'm really looking forward to that. Well, well, we'll see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> have faith, girl, have faith. Have faith. <laughs> we better get on, we've got a lot to do. We have. Let's go. See you later, ladies. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 And with our supper cooks happily installed in their recipe fair kitchen, it's time to let the mums... ..and a good few dads... ..into the mums know best simple suppers recipe fair. Well, I want to get my fish on there first, so I'll be only using this top bit, so... Just one, one of the rings. Right. And we'll go get our we'll meat and yes, start so cutting it up ready to um, brown it. Although our mums are cooking dishes they know well, they don't usually cook it for 30 guests. Oh, or in a field, come to think of that, Si. I know. They don't seem to mind, though, do they? Back at the mums' tent, our mums are getting stuck into preparing their banquet supper dishes. Fiona has boldly decided to make her pastry by hand. Keeping tracks on a civil. <laughs> but it's necessary, isn't it? I think so, <laughs> yes. And her gender is getting a lesson in bacalao. What, what am I doing? Just skinning, skinning it. it? Yeah. Oh, right. We put all the fish in here with flaking it. All right, is that okay? That's lovely, thank you. Our mums are in the final stages of getting their dishes ready for the banquet. Although her gender, as per form, seems to be cooking more than just her salmon. <laughs> On your comfy! Yay! The mum's dishes look fantastic. Fiona has made a perfect pastry crust for her pie by hand and baked it to perfection. Her gender has resisted cooking too much, but has still produced generous platters of her Punjabi treats. And Jenny will see if the Birkenhead bacalao that won us over can win over our guests as well. And, of course, we've got our mum's dishes. Dave's mum's killer fish cakes and my mum's pan haggerty, without the rainwater in it this day. It's pan haggerty, anybody. It's comforting food, isn't it, you know? I'll be careful. <laughs> what? Oh, what are you doing? I've just dunked the mare in tandoori salmon. Oh, you're joking! <laughs> The curry would overpower the salmon, but it doesn't at all. It's just so, so good. I've never ever had Portuguese food, but it's inspired me to, to look into it. The pinnacle tea was lovely. I think because that's something the Gran used to make as well, so absolutely gorgeous. It's lovely, and I'm going to do the salmon dish, and the rice is just absolutely gorgeous. So um, I have been inspired by um, Hajj as well, as I now know her. Hajj. <laughs> Wonderful day. And of course, having a delicious supper. 
Gorgeous. For dessert, we've got size Mumstella's rice pudding, the best in the world. <laughs> what are you doing now? Oh, rice pudding is on the side. Oh, oh, oh. The mayor of I'm Bradford really is now sporting a sou'wester. <laughs> Dave, isn't it an honour to have Fiona's great granny's pudding here? Oh, yes, mate. All these dishes have so much history to them. And you know, mate, the bottom line is, they all taste fantastic. What's it, Wednesday? Hey, Dave. Oh, I mate. think simple <laughs> supper's made. It's just come together in a cornucopia of eclectic loveliness, hasn't it? That has been superbly successful. Great food, great company. It's belting. Top success, eh? Yeah.